What's going on guys, John Alder here from tkinter.com and in this video, we're gonna look at entry boxes for TTK Bootstrap, Kinter, and Python. All right guys, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at the entry box for TTK Bootstrap. But before we get started, if you like this video, wanna see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to check out my new course where we create this chat GPT bot. You can see I use custom Kinter to build this so it looks nice and cool and modern. And here we can connect to chat GPT, ask it questions and get responses right from our own Kinter apps. Super cool if you're interested in this, check this out. I'll show you how to sign up for an API key, how to connect everything in the back end. Really cool and uh, really fun. You can see, suggest 10 female dog names. We've got 10 dog names. Really, really cool. If you're interested in this, you can sign up over at tkinter.com. You can't buy the course individually. You just have to sign up for total membership and it comes with your membership. Membership is normally $149, but I want to give you $100 off just because this course is really cool and people are really enjoying it. And I want as many people to get this information as possible. So you can come down here, click on have a coupon code, type in chat GPT, click apply and boom, you get $100 off. So you get total membership, all my Kinter courses, everything that comes with membership for just $49. And if you're curious, this is the membership area. You can see here's the chat GPT course right here, 23, 24 videos, something like that. And then you get access to my intro to Kinter course, my build a paint app course, my MP3 player course, you get a copy of my book, you get the Kinter widget library, which is the book in course form. So you can see if, if you want to learn about the button widget, you just click on it, boom, you get all the stuff, you get over 200 of my old YouTube playlist Kinter videos. And this one, we got a Kinter app project with I don't know, 12 or 15 different little projects you can work on the Facebook group, all the source code, all the good things. So check that out if you're interested. That's really cool. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're gonna look at the entry box for TTK Bootstrap. Now this is super useful because you're always gonna use entry boxes and there are a few different little things you need to know about it. So we're gonna dive into it in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using the Sublime Text Editor and the Git Bash Terminal as always. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this TTK Bootstrap series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So I've got our basic starter code that we've always got. I'm calling it entry underscore widget dot pi. And we've imported TTK Bootstrap. You've got to pip and install that if you haven't yet. And then we've set the superhero theme and that's pretty much it. So let's come down here and create an entry widget. So I'm gonna go my underscore entry and that's gonna be a TB dot entry widget. And the reason why it's TB is because I'm importing TTK Bootstrap as TB up here. And we wanna put this thing in root and that'll be fine for now. So let's go to my underscore entry dot pack and let's give this a pad Y of like 50 to really push it down the screen. So now I want to create a button to where whenever I type something in the entry box and click the button, it does something. It does something with that text. So let's just call this my underscore button. And this is going to be a TB dot button. We want to put it in root and let's give this a boot style of like, I don't know, danger or something. Make it a red button. I don't know. And maybe outline as well, just for fun. We want the text to say, click me. <laughs> I don't know. And we want the command to equal, I don't know, let's just say speak, something like that. And we'll create this function in just a second. So let's go my underscore button dot pack and give this a pad Y of 20 to push it down screen. Finally, let's create a quick label. Let's go my underscore label. And this is going to be a TB dot label. We want to put it in root. We want the text to say, I don't know, hello world for now, or even just nothing at all. Yeah, let's leave it at nothing at all. So let's go my underscore label dot pack and give this a pad Y of 20 to push down screen a little bit. Okay, so now when we click that button, we want this speak function to run. And let's just take that my underscore label and then dot config it and set the text equal to an F string. And let's say you typed and then we put in brackets and then we can call my entry, whatever we typed into my entry. So let's go my entry dot get and just put that up on the screen. So let's go ahead and save this and run it, see what this looks like. Head over to our terminal. I'm in my ctkinter.com directory and let's run python entry widget dot pi. And when we do, we get this basic entry box. We could say John Elder or something like that. Here we see click me, we click it. It says you typed John Elder. Very simple. So here's your basic entry box. Now we didn't do any styling to this. We didn't change anything about it. This is just the sort of default view, right? So that's fine. Maybe that's what you want but we can play around with this. So let's do that. Let's head back over here. And the first thing we could do, obviously, is give this a boot style as you do with all TTK bootstrap things. And then we can add a color scheme here. So your basic color schemes are primary, secondary, success, info, warning, danger, light, and dark. So that's for basically all widgets in TTK bootstrap. We understand that we've looked at this before. Let's say I want green, that's success. We could do that. Save this, run it again. 
And we misspelled boot style. <laughs> uh, so let's go boot style. There we go. Now, if we save this and run it again, we get the box outlined in green. Green is success. Pretty cool. What if we want to change the size of this thing? Well, we do that the same way we would with a regular Kinter entry widget. We just set the font equal to, and let's say I want to change the text to Helvetica. And let's say we want the size 18. That will make 18 size text, which will definitionally make the box correspondingly big to 18 size text. So that's one way we can do it. Let's save that and run it. Now we've got a bigger box, right? You typed hello. Now these text is uh, sort of light colored, white, light gray, something like that, whatever the color that is, we can change that as well. Let's start to add these on separate lines so we can read this easier. And to do that, normally with a Kinter entry widget, you would set the foreground to whatever color, but with this, we need to set the foreground. You need to spell it out. So we can use any sort of HTML color code. So 003660, something like that. Or we could just, you know, say red <laughs> or green. We want it to be the same color. So, hey there, whatever. Now it's green, right? Hey, you typed hey there. Very cool. That's one way to do it. We can also set the width attribute. So if we come back here and instead set the width to, let's say, five. Now this is characters, it's not pixels. So our text is size 18. So that's 18 sized characters. So keep that in mind. So it's not a great way to do it, but you know, that's Kinter. So you can see now it's much smaller. I could go on to three, four, five. That's five characters, six. So it's exactly five characters in width. So you can do it like that if you want. I don't know, kind of weird. I just like changing the font text. Finally, we can make this into like a password protected deal. Uh, let me change this to 15. And we do that using show. So we could say, hey, show these characters whenever somebody types. And we could put a little asterisk or whatever. So we can run this guy again. Now when we type, we get nothing but stars. When we click it, the actual text still comes through. It doesn't come through as stars. It comes through as whatever you text. So I, I typed in John Elder here and click this. It says you type John Elder. This is just for like appearance sake, right? So that's cool. We did stars, but you know, you can do anything you want. I could put, you know, ampersands or whatever, whatever you want. This will show. Now we get a bunch of ampersands. I'm going to go ahead and change that back because that's just plain weird. So that's the entry widget for TTK Bootstrap. Super simple, acts almost exactly as you would expect it to, just like a regular entry, entry box. And uh, yeah, pretty cool. So that's all for this video. If you liked, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and be sure to grab a totally free PDF copy of my Kinter Widget Quick Reference Guide book. I think it's awesome. It has all the Kinter Widget attributes and the TTK attributes as well. You can get it at tkinter.com forward slash widget dash book. While you're there, think about signing up for membership in tkinter.com. Get that new chat GPT course, which is super, super cool and uh, very popular, man. You guys seem to really like that course, uh, but check it out if you're interested and it should be pretty cool. So my name is John Elder from tkinter.com and I'll see you in the next video.